Hello and welcome to the Cultural Diversity and Occupational Therapy online course. My name is Melissa Kay and I'm your instructor. The purpose of this short video is to talk to you about your assignment entitled Narrative Essay and Self-Reflection. Here's how the, uh, the assignment is going to work. And please, um, as with all the assignments, if you have any questions about it, please contact me or refer to your written guidelines rather than using this video as your only form of instruction. So here's how the essay works. Um, you are going to read a literary narrative. There's going to be a list, a wide list that's provided for you. It has fiction, it has biography, autobiography, memoir, a variety of different types of books, um, some historical, some current, and you're going to pick one of those books. You're going to need to get my approval for it so that everyone is reading a different book and we'll open a discussion forum so that you can do that. So you pick a book that you're interested in, read that narrative, and then what you're going to do is write an essay. The essay is going to have four parts, and here they are. First, uh, the introduction. You're going to introduce the book, the author, the title, um, and give a very brief summary. Now this isn't a book report, so please don't give a very long uh, synopsis of the book, just something brief that encapsulates what you're going to be talking about. The second part is kind of the meat of your essay, and that's a cultural um, highlight portion of the book. Now, for some of the books, there's going to be a lot of different aspects of culture that are portrayed. For some books, there's going to be a much narrower band, and the book is going to focus on uh, one or two or three aspects of culture. It's pretty much up to you which aspects of culture that are portrayed in the book that you want to focus upon. My advice to you, however, is to take the things that are particularly interesting to you, provocative to you, made you think, were surprising, so in some way spoke to you and focus on those. What you're going to do is, um, is talk about those cultural highlights and um, then, in part three, you're going to take the culture that you looked at and compare it to your own. So the first part of part three is for you to tell us a little bit about your own background. Now this might be um, your ethnic background, your religious background, your social background, whatever part of your culture you feel comfortable sharing with us. And then you're going to find both a similarity and a difference between the culture that you belong to or self-identify with and the culture that um, is portrayed in the book. The last part of the essay is the summary where you're going to kind of pull everything together for us um, and talk about how your uh, the book that you read and also your essay um, changed your views about that particular culture, what um, new questions you might have had, what you might have learned that you didn't know, and then whether or not you recommend the book to others. Now, in some cases, uh, the culture is going to be super interesting and you just want to find out more. That's perfectly permissible and if you'd like to look online or, um, or get some books about the culture, you're welcome and you're welcome to include that information. If there's other information that you think is very pertinent, for example, it's a piece of historical work and that culture has changed over time, you can certainly include that as well. Uh, this is a fun assignment. You will have a, a, a lot of leeway in terms of what kind of work you choose. So um, there's something for everyone. And uh, then you'll post your assignment online and we'll be sharing about it in the form of feedback about your essay, your comments, and then your feedback to others. I hope this uh, helps you with this assignment and I'll see you online.